people's understanding of Africa in Ireland is growing, it's improving, but you're fighting a huge backlog of perceptions which are based on, on a media portrayal of Africa that's always been about famine, about genocide, about civil war. Now these things happen, of course they do, but there's a whole other African experience that I've been lucky uh, to encounter and to report on. And all of these things are, are you know, vital to our understanding of a continent which I'm convinced is going to be hugely important. I think the potential of Africa is huge. When we look at the demographics, some time ago, one in 11 people in the world were from Africa. Now, in 2050, we're going to see one in four people are going to be from Africa. And while there's many other regions in the world that are fighting for economic power and having trade wars or whatever, I think Africa is going to be the continent that saves the world. A lot of people see Africa as, you know, the continent or countries that are extending hands for AIDS and a lost cause. And that is, it, it has a potential, it's no longer a cause to be a trading partner to the world and to actually contribute to building sustainable development and peace and security. I think tech growth in Africa is one of the areas where, um, you know, we can really use it as a platform for people changing their perceptions of the continent. Um, you have more users of TikTok uh, in Somalia than you do in any other country in the world. We, we've got a lot to learn from you, of course, but I think we've got some stuff to give, we, some stuff we can actually teach you as well when it gets to innovation and originality. Um, and of course, the Good Friday Agreement and our president's involvement in that is well known. The Dunstores ladies, those incredible women who stood there for South Africa. And when I met them the other day, I said to them, I'm here because of people like you. I'm deeply grateful, as many, many South Africans are, for what this country has meant for South Africa.